This is the strong chief of my team for Dragon Girl China. Today we are in Manchester, UK. Now you see here is our UK representative. Yeah, for Dragon Girl China, see? And today we will take a video about the best machine of the, the sorting station and teach you, guide you how to use their goods. See, here is our, the, the working room for, for the machine. Mm -hmm. I think the problem where they go wrong is when they make the profile, sometimes do, do, do. that number mm -hmm. some people set that have that set way too low yeah mm -hmm. and then when they run the profile it won't go fast enough mm -hmm. and then they think there's something wrong with the bird machine mm -hmm. but it's not it's just because they've set something wrong but I know we get that quite high Basically, but what it means is if, I think the way it works is if the top heater, the top heater um, will, will only allow itself to go one degree above what it should go, whereas if that's set to a higher number it will allow it to go higher, which means it'll get hotter quicker, mm. and otherwise it'll take too long to catch up. This is Xiao, Chief of Marketing for Dragon Group China. Today we are in Manchester, in UK. Now I will take a video representing Yang as UK representative for Dragon Group China. Now we will show you how to remove the chip of the Xbox board. And we will give you some tips when you are doing the job I'll tell you what I'll do as well mm -hmm. because um, it's always used to come out there sometimes they can pop. Just protects the capacity yeah, enough because yes. mm -hmm. I've sometimes I've spotted mm -hmm. the yellow ones and it, yeah. it could actually get quite hot, yeah. So you just use the extra demo careful? Yeah, just okay. it's um that way. That one for a more accurate about the temperature, right? Yeah. Before I start the top heater, what I tend to do is mm -hmm. run a profile that just has the bottom heater on only yes. and then let the board warm up before yes. mm -hmm. then I change my profile yes. and then it can lift it easier. This way of doing it as well, the profiles usually take a little bit longer because 
it's the top heat is not actually on at the moment, so I'm just warming the board up. Yes. But I mean, there's a lot of different ways to do it. Some people but, just want to profile. But anyway, this one is short there. Yeah. But that's it. Basically, what's happening now is this, the bottom heater, that is not going up because the top heater is not on. Uh -huh. the, now the, the top mm -hmm. heater is not on at all, mm -hmm. it's only the bottom heat. So that is actually climbing up mm -hmm. from the bottom heater. The actual reading on that heater is lower than the actual board temperature mm -hmm. because the thermocoupler is just slightly above the chip. Yes. So true. you need to. Yeah, because these one, because out, some yeah. make that temperature is lower. Yeah. Here normally I turn it on. I've warmed the board up slightly now, so just, just give it a little bit. You want to change the profiles? Mm -hmm. I always make sure that the cooling manual is off, mm -hmm. otherwise off, the fans will kick in. Mm -hmm. So then now it's the. Da, 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 da. Ah, I see. And then you'll see that start to rise now. Yeah. <coughs> so when you use bed, you stay for more, the more exact the yeah. Um, the problem I had was I've only just built this room, mm -hmm. and. Previously, there was a lot of drafts in the room, so it was difficult to get the uh, calibration right. But now, I've actually enclosed yeah. the room off. Yes. It's you know you can calibrate the um, the top heater element yeah. to tie in with that one. Yes. So that is why sometimes, in fact, the rear that temperature on the chip rear higher, but this should not, right? Yeah. In fact, already arrived to yeah. the temperature, temperature yeah. you want. Definitely. I mean, it depends where the top the top thermal couple goes as well. You know, I mean, it, if it goes on top of the chip, mm. it's gonna read a lower temperature because you've got the air yes. on the top of the chip, mm -hmm. whereas this is actually going to the board. Yes. So the, that part is closer to the heaters mm -hmm. so for the top of the chip to get hotter it's got to go through the chip as well mm -hmm. so then, I think your stasis then, prepared yeah but when the top heater comes in they, they tend to sort of balance out you know yes. sometimes they, they meet you see together. now it's so different now here is 200 that's still 117 right yeah so this is the real temperature on the chip yeah It's probably a, where a lot of people have, might have a problem, you mm -hmm. know, is to calibrate the uh, the top heater mm -hmm. and the thermocouples to get the right profile. But once you've got your profiles mm -hmm. sorted out correctly, then every one that you do will be more or less the same. Mm -hmm. and you shouldn't have a problem then. So the chip that's on this board mm -hmm. is actually lead solder, so it's 186 now, mm -hmm. so I can actually lift the chip. Mm -hmm. So it should come off. Ah, oh, it's fast. It's fast. 190. Mm -hmm. 185, that's where it came off. Mm -hmm. So, so yeah. <laughs>
on the top of the chip, yeah? Yes. That's on the top of the chip. Uh-huh. Uh, so that's is maybe you read in the you read in the heat hits the top of the chip. Uh -huh. They read the temperature that's on the top of the chip, uh -huh. but maybe by the time it's penetrated through the chip, uh -huh. it you might have to go a little hotter. So the surface temperature of the chip might need to be greater, uh -huh. so that the bottom temperature is hot enough to get a clean lift. Uh -huh. So really, what what they need to do is all about. They just need to get the profiles done correctly, uh -huh. or reposition the top. Thermal couple, mm -hmm. so we can get a good chip lift. Mm.